what is up, you guys? Um, For another video, and today's video, guys, you already know what time it is. It's Steve Wilco's time. You know what I'm saying? This one is called Time Steve Wilco's Got Attacked. Now, if you even have the balls to put your hands on Steve Wilco's, you got to be black. No, I'm, I'm joking. But he, you got to be a guy who just don't care about his life at all. Um, thing is, guys, I recorded another Steve Wilco's video. It was I was six minutes in, and it was going to be such a banger video. I turned to look at my OBS. It was not recording. And honestly, that almost just made me not want to record anymore. But we're going to bounce back. It was such a good one. Hopefully, like, later down the line, I forget what was going on and I have, like, a fake, uh, a real reaction. But uh, I have an entire playlist. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get into the Steve Vill because I'm very, I'm, I'm still a little shooken up from what just happened about the OBS not recording. I'm a little shooken up over that. And my voice is still not 100%. I don't know why this is happening. Here we go. Hey, you don't call me one to you feel like you take your shoes Whoa, I've never seen that. What the? Hey, you don't call me one to you feel like you take your Whoa, this is, this is, this is insane. This is actually insane. I gotta make sure I'm still recording, because that actually, wow. Hey, hey, you don't call me one to do you feel like you take your shoes. This But if I'm in the stage, I'm running on there. I'm running to the stage, and I'm beating that nigga ass. What, do you, what is she supposed to remember? No one's What is she supposed to remember? No what is she supposed to remember, that she left me. That she left Yeah, me. that's right. That she left and we'll me. all remember it. Today, we uncover a wow. series of astonishing events. And I was, okay, so uh, the guy who makes these compilations, he was talking and narrating in the last one, and this is just a different video. I couldn't do that same one. I couldn't fake it for y'all. But... Have made headlines, leaving audiences shocked. That's and crazy. Shocked. That first dude was crazy. Oh, I've never seen that. Right now, look at me. Whatever. Hold on. Is shocked and captivated. So I want the two of you right now. Look at me. Whatever. I don't want to hear any about anything else about you did this or you, what happened in the past. You have a daughter together, and something happened to your daughter. And right now, somebody can't pass a damn lie detector test five times. From explosive the confrontations hell? to chilling what was altercations, that? these heart racing encounters have tested Steve's resilience and showcased his incredible dedication to his craft. I want to hear what you have to say to him failing that test five times. You said you were going to leave him. I want to hear what you have to say to this man. 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 What? Let them shoot me directly. I don't give a. What was that? I had to spit that out, but what was that dude even saying, bro? You said you were gonna leave him. I want to hear what you have to say to this man. And these captions aren't me. She's your girlfriend. What is that nigga talking about? To witness the extreme side of daytime television in ways you've never imagined before. Yo. Yo, yo, security. Don't, well, you can't, nigga, how are you security? Don't, you can't let this dude get this close to her face. You, can, you can't allow this. You gotta do something, nigga. If I did that, uh, yeah. What, 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 you, what? No, 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 no. Say something. No, no, no. Man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. I'm letting you go, man. Hey, I'm letting you go. Hey, hey, I'm letting you go. hey. Here, Steve confronts one of his most- Did he just get lifted off the ground? Physical aggression. And how he continued to uphold the spirit of understanding and compassion defines his remarkable career. You don't talk to me about the thing you feel alone. Yo. I'm done with you. Next time, cooperate with the police. Get the hell out of here. He has to be on cocaine. That, that's signs of a cocaine. Did you know Super Bowl 58 on CBS streams live on Shut Paramount Shut up, Plus? you lost the Super Bowl. 
This isn't a scene from an action-packed movie. It's an extraordinary real-life incident that unfolded on the Steve Wilco. That's actually show. crazy. That's I've never I'm seen that. I'm not an expert. I certainly know my wife. People do things, but I have to question myself. I'm just conducting a show here. I'm trying to find the truth. And then the man wants to commit violence on me. Smash my head in. Luck what did I do? He's Luckily, he didn't hit him. Like, like, like you know. Not capable of. Why she be Very right back with this dude? Moving There's no way. This point on what is going to be done. Find out and bring to justice what happened. Oh, open the case back up. Shocking violence okay. from earlier left the audience speechless, but it doesn't discourage Steve, who displays his compassion for helping guests seek justice. All right, I mean, is it, what is this? A different nigga? Who is that? About uh, he sat there and lied and lied. Who is that? Hey, you know what she did. He don't even matter. Who is that? He came out. Next, we have a chilling tale of betrayal. Oh wait, I don't understand that one. Quest for justice that will leave you speechless. Did you ever witness Marcus hit or physically abuse your daughter? You answered no. You told the truth. Okay. There we go. Did you know your daughter had any injuries before you left for work that day? You answered no. You told the truth. On the day in question, did you leave your daughter with Marcus knowing that he was under he the... He did it. Look at his hair. He, he's nervous. You know, in question, I guarantee he had this length of hair Marcus. for at least a couple years. His hair don't grow. That's why he... Because when you do this, your hair don't grow. I mean, bro, it's just facts. Oh, look, they got fucking museum mountains on that shit, bro. To be honest, he, he did it. Knowing that I, already, he I don't get it. I know you didn't. Of illegal drugs, you answered no. You told the truth. Steve. Get ready to witness shocking violence, heartbreaking injustice, and a backstage clash that left everyone he about to crash in disbelief. Out. Did you? He about to crash out. Those injuries to your daughter. You answered no, and you told the truth. But nobody really thought that you did this anyways, right? Marcus came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you fabricate the story about accidentally tripping with your daughter in your arms? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. This was just the beginning wow. of the story for Marcus. Hey, this I'm not going to lie. Narrator nigga, bro, you don't have to keep cutting it off every time. Steve had more results yet to be announced, but would Shikana be patient enough? Shikana? Yo. Listen to the question. At the time in question, were you under the influence of any drugs when your daughter was injured? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Marcus looked relatively So he wasn't on drugs? Now facing a severe issue came This nigga hair didn't grow. I know it life. didn't. But here's what he does next. Did you hit your six-month-old daughter causing any of those injuries? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Are you serious? I don't have to believe what I want to. Nigga said, believe what you want to. Are, are, are we serious? Nigga, you took a lighter detector test. Nigga, look at this nigga. Like, bro, the typical ball wrong. Like, you could just tell this dude don't got, like, nothing to lose. He don't give a fuck, guys. This is a guy you don't want to be. He does not care. Like, you hear her, like, going through sad emotions. Believe what you want. Like, bro, who are you? Who, who is this guy? He's trying to give, like, good wisdom. Believe what you want to. The fuck you mean, believe what you want to? You just took a lie detector test. Believe what I want to. Oh, that's so... Because of you. Because of who? Because of you. Because of you. you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's At sweating. Point, he about to crash out, bro. Is boiling over as his heinous deeds are brought to light. But let's find out how he handles the situation. You know, I'm not taking me. Man, you're you're gonna take your daughter's I'll blind in one I'll eye for the rest of her life because you did it because you try or it smokes. Uh, fueled by uncontrollable emotion. I told you about the crash out. He his fury on the unsuspecting host, Steve Wilkos, after being confronted about the tragedy that occurred to his daughter. Right here! Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about six months. I'm not six months old. Yeah. You're not a grown man. You're a grown ass demon. That's you're not a man, and not no not no one's eyes. You're not a man. But and this is what I gotta say about that. If this guy has just the thought capacity of doing that to a six month year old, bro, why even try to even like, bro, just storm in jail already, like.
You know, like, don't even, like, because he would literally crack. Like, I believe if he would do that to a six-month-year-old, he would do that shit to you. He has literally nothing to lose. Me, personally, you got it. Throw him in jail immediately. Next, we unravel the that disturbing story insane. of Ulysses, a man who epitomizes the worst kind of control and manipulation in a romantic relationship possible. Man, you want me to trust you and all that, but look at you now. You're telling me things that you never told me before. Why does it have to be with someone that you never met before? Because maybe I treat her with kindness. Maybe I don't need to hear respect. what you got to say. you uh -huh. never been in this relationship. Well, <laughs> if you want to stand on my stage, because this is my house, then you will listen to what I have to say. <laughs> Turn your ass around and get off my stage, and maybe I'll take her, Azora, and go have some lunch with her. Oh my God! He may got the on my block special, bro. Everything about him, accessories and all, is on my block. I'm not gonna cap. This chilling tale brings us face to face with a troubling Damn, reality. Damn, it's bad. How y'all? How these things be pulling the baddest bitches and be treating them absolutely horrible? Like, bro, I know it's, I'm not gonna do that, but I know it's just. Not gonna do that, but it's just like, how do y'all be pulling these bad bitches and treat them so awful? It just will never make sense to me. Olds when love becomes a prison. Hey, nigga, you should be thankful you, you got a bitch like that. Anymore. There's your chance to get rid of this guy. What he be doing? What he do? Not be scaring anybody. Not anybody controlling your life. Not telling you how to dress, what to wear, checking on you. It doesn't matter if you take the test or not. I still don't want to be with you no more. Sorry. All right, then get going. She doesn't want to be with you anymore. You get out. Like will be at the front door. Get out. Get out. You're a punk. <sighs> As emotions run high, get out, bitch. the fiery clash unmasks the true extent of Ulysses' controlling behavior. Ulysses. But Steve, Steve's ready to handle him. There you go. Here's your ID right here. You need it. You need to get on a plane. There you go. I'm you'll speaking for her. You'll get it. You'll she get said it. you'll get it. Remember that. Oh, yeah, well, what's what's going to happen? Yeah, that is a threat. That's that literally a threat? a threat. That's a threat. That is a threat, guys. Listen, bro. I think there should be a law to where, like, if you get threatened, you should be able to just defend yourself on immediately. I will do this to you. You should instantly be able to defend yourself. That was a threat, by the way. I hope y'all understand that. Remember that. Oh, yeah, well, what's Remember that? that? Threat? That's a threat. Is that a threat? Don't talk to me. Hey, don't threat me, big don't guy. The riveting narrative exposes That's crazy. the dark side of relationships and extraordinary links one host will go to to s <laughs> What the fuck? Get this off my s come on YouTube. Come on YouTube. Things right. That do better. You're a tough guy? You wanna threaten somebody? Are you a man or are you gonna run now? Why don't you threaten me? Yeah. Why don't you threaten me? You wanna threaten a little girl? You're a tough guy. No remember what? Nah, was what is she supposed to remember? No one's what is she supposed to remember? No what is she supposed to remember? Next, we bring you a chilling wow. tale of survival, resilience, and a courageous host willing to go to extraordinary heights to protect those in need. I've been together for three years, and since the beginning, he's been abusive. Make this make sense, please. For three years, you've been in a relationship, and since the beginning, he was abusive. You endured three years of abusiveness. For what? For what? Women, you have to start doing... I'm talking about the people who are in these situations. You literally have to do better. Lock the fuck in. Stop letting these grimy-ass weird old niggas do this shit to y'all. Stop that, bro. My lips to give me black eyes. Come on. It was a time where he done choked me and picked me up in the air and dropped me. What? Me. He picked her up and said, like, what are you, like, bro, he picked her up and just said, oh, dude, he didn't slam her. He just picked her up and just dropped her. And, he punched me in the face while I was pregnant. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, my gosh. Two or three days ago, we got an argument. I had my baby in my hands. He just turned around and just hit me dead in my face, busting my nose and my lip. Prepare for a relentless battle against abuse, where the line between talk show host and protector blurs. Oh, he, he looks. Oh, yeah, he got nothing to lose. Survivor and a host who refuses to let injustice prevail. She put her hands on me. She's holding your son, and you punch her in the face, and you split her mouth. Splat. One of them, like there's. What the fuck? What? 
holding your son and you punch her in the face and you split her mouth. Smack her. <laughs> one of them. Like Nigga said one of them. There's a difference. It really ain't. What are you some kind of punk that you Nah you ain't, ain't twist? nothing punk about me. Yeah, you're ain't a not, punk. Ain't you, nothing punk about me. Yeah, let me yeah, tell you something. something. You, 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 you hit something. the mother of your child. You, you put your you put your son in danger. Male, female. You put your little did the lady know that I believe this nigga, bro. Male or female. He's still a bitch. What began lie. before For she doing that shit. spotlight? Son in danger. Male, female. What kind of animal are you when you would hit a woman, the mother of your child? What happened if she dropped your baby? Then I'm gonna pick him up and put him on the bed. You're dumb. Okay, so you're actually stupid. Your baby hit the ground from a high jerk motion. Your baby is gonna have serious injury. You're gonna pick him up, put him in the bed. No, take him to the hospital after that. So you don't even have a thinking capacity. Swap it's borrow. I'm not talking about some stranger walking down the street. That's this what is, I'm talking this about. This is the That's mother what, of your okay, child. The mother of my son. child. The you want to care when you split her mouth? The mother of my brother. Fell and cracked his son. You want to care when you split Oh, yeah. You can tell this guy dropped out as a freshman. This is what I'm talking about. He dropped out at seventh grade. The mother of your child. The mother of my child. You want to care when you split her The mother of my brother. So you would beat your mom? Yeah, it tells you. He has nothing to lose. Fell and cracked his head off. A See? baby that could die, your son could die That's what I'm saying. Actions. Motions run high as the abusive boyfriend exchanges words with Steve, leading to a fiery <laughs> argument that reaches a breaking point. Real. Let's be real. What when do you I, think when what I happened to her, your son? When I smacked her to the uh, bed, we're right there. So... Ain't no possible way he could have fell and hit his head on that. You're dumb, I'm see? First of all, I'm not your it's only thing. I run. I run this night. Like, I ain't no listen. You listen. You listen, homeboy. Without not saying that. How soon I'm going to listen? You're not speaking. Come Steve on. Steve puts him in his place and even does something he doesn't do before getting all parties on stage. The only nah, thing that you're running you're is then. your mouth. No, you running you your mouth. You don't, put your your, don't put your fingers in my face. Simple don't do that again. Don't do it again. You don't do it again. You no. telling me what? What you telling me? I'm telling you, don't do it again. You don't do it again. Simple as that. I'm a. A what? Listen, a punks what? don't you're tell me what to yeah, do. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, you doing too much talk. Off my stage. <laughs> just get off. Just I, I just don't understand. Literally, like just doing that shit. It's just like I don't understand why you even. How he's even Prepare roaming. He literally just admitted this shit too. Scandal shattered trust in a job. My daughter tried to poison me. That will send shockwaves through your screens. Yes, Destiny, have you ever had sexual contact with your mother's boyfriend, Philando? She answered no. She did not tell the truth. I told you, you little bitch. I knew it. You the lying oh, ass you little bitch. Man. Yes, Destiny. Oh, we are. Brace yourselves as emotions skyrocket and tensions reach a boiling point, propelling this dramatic situation. Oh, guys, if you don't remember from my last Steve Wilco's reaction, we reacted to like a clip of Steve Wilco's getting smacked with papers. And I never under I never saw that clip before. And this is where it comes from. Chaotic frenzy. Oh, hell. Oh, I'm going to come with you. As emotions did surge, actually cut him? What unfolds is nothing short of pandemonium, with wow. Steve getting caught in the crossfire thereof. I'm crazy though. Bring it down. This is this my payback. That's my payback. Really? I did not sleep with him. For, Fourteen years yeah. on Jerry Springer, never got hit by anything. Yeah. <laughs> Stage. The stage becomes a battleground of raw anger and disbelief. Where does the poison come in? is met with a violent reaction. Question. Uh, I'm listen I'm listen, I ain't do listen to the question. I don't even know. I want to hear the rest. Have you ever I don't even want to hear the rest. man. If no, they did, you never met from there. If they did, you never met Sorry ass white bitch. This episode... Sorry, as a ranch. Wait, a ranch? Hey, go, 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 go. Go, go. Wanch? Wanch. Wanch is the most insane word I've ever heard. Bitch! This episode plunges deep into the realm of family dynamics gone awry, delivering a roller coaster That's not ride even of family. emotions that will leave you questioning the boundaries of trust and the frailty of human relationships. We didn't even get to the poison. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with your mother's boyfriend, Philando? She answered no. She did not tell the truth. <laughs> You just yeah, saw that. Bitch. I knew it. I knew it. Whoever. I knew it, but I'm psycho though, huh? Really? Hold on, hold on. Tell me, 
Trust me. Trust me. Get your ass back out here, you lying ass scumbag. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, Steve Vukos reaction. Let me know. Keep hitting that like button if you want to see me react to more of these. Man, I'm always down to do it. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're very new. And I'm out, bruh.